Let's take a look at how to rig and operate a six bar brake rack for rappelling. This is an excellent tool for the rescuer to use as you have the ability to vary the amount of friction. And so it can be used for a single person load um, as well as for rescue loads and great for doing pickoffs. The first thing we want to do is attach it to our harness. and lock the carabiner. So once the rack is attached to my harness, I'll take the rappel line and I'll pass it up through the first bar. There's a groove in this bar which helps us to identify which way the rope should pass. And I will rig this tight. So what I mean by that is I'm gonna pull all the slack out and I'm gonna weight the, the device so that I tension up the rope to the anchor. I'm then gonna in, initiate the first bar in, bring that rope back around over the hyper bar over here, engage the third bar by squeezing the rails together, come back around over the hyper bar, I'm maintaining tension on the device at all times, and I'm going to rig all six bars initially. At this point, I've got all six bars engaged. Make sure that my carabiner is not cross-loaded. Our brake hand is not gonna ever let go of the line. And we're gonna always capture this hyper bar so that we're always pulling down. Our left hand will serve to spread the bars and this is the means by which we introduce more slack into the line. With all six bars engaged, if I start to weight this, I can actually begin to move. As I go over the edge, I'd want to have all of my bars engaged. If I find that I have too much friction, I can drop a bar. First, I would compress all the bars together by using my guide hand to push those bars up and I pull down with my brake hand over that hyper bar. I'll choke up so I don't have a long throw. Keep pressure on these on the bars. I'll come all the way around over the top and drop one bar. At this point I can continue to spread. And it's really those bars up front that are providing most of that friction and I can continue my descent. If at some point I feel I need to add more friction, I'll stop, push those bars together, re-engage that last bar, come back around in one swoop move motion, back over the hyper bar and continue. If at some point we feel we need to stop and work hands free, we can tie off the brake bar rack by taking a second wrap over the hyper bar and then just tying a big overhand right over the front of the device. And we'll do that as close to the top of the rack as we can. When it comes time to untie the tie off, release the overhand, maintain a grip on the brake strand, unwrap, and then continue your descent. 